I know Roddy Rebel. This nigga Roddy Rebel randomly had like diss you on the song. Why did you feel it was necessary for you to make comments on Boston Richie's situation? Boston Richie just previewed a remix of Get In With Me by Bossman D-Lo. And in the first couple bars, fans noticed that he dissed Rowdy Rebel. Now, if you were listening closely, you heard him say that he's going to turn Rowdy Rebel into an omelet. Now, let's go back in time and figure out why exactly Rowdy Rebel needs to be turned into a breakfast item. After 1090 Jake made that video about Boston Richie calling him a snitch, a lot of rappers switched on him and some rappers even dissed him for no reason without even knowing him. Now Rowdy Rebel happens to be one of those rappers that dissed him for no reason and basically tried to make him the face of snitching, kinda like 6 9 Niggas moving like they tell it, moving effy. Yeah. I cut them off like Future did to Boston Richie. Yeah. So as you can hear Rowdy Rebel say in that verse, he basically says, if you want some snitching type of stuff, I'm going to have to cut you off like how Future cut off Boston Richie. And if you don't know, that's because Boston Richie is signed to FBG, which is Future's label. And there was rumors that after 1090 Jake made the snitching video, that Future cut off Boston Richie. Now in response, Boston Richie did the same style song, you know, like where they do like the mic hanging down type thing, titled Cut Off Boston Richie, where he addresses these rumors. Yeah, but what kind of can try to diss Boston Richie in the game that you claim? Woke up, nigga switch. I came in pipe. This can't turn off Boston Richie. I'm gonna say that shit again. Niggas ain't cut off Boston Richie. He said, what kind of a king tries to diss Boston Richie in the gang that you claim woke up? They switching. I came in pipe. Y'all can't turn off Boston Richie. I'm going to say it again. Y'all can't cut off Boston Richie. So if you notice, he said, and that gang you claim woke up, dude switching. Now, uh, allegedly, you know, people been saying that they haven't seen Bobby Schmurda and Rowdy Rebel, Rowdy Rebel around each other that much ever since they got out. Like, it seems like they're not really on good terms like that. So that's probably what he's talking about when he said that dude switching. And then he says that Future didn't cut him off. Basically, he said, dudes ain't cut off Boston Richie. Now, shortly after this song was dropped, Rowdy Rebel did an interview and the interviewer asked him like hey like why did you uh feel the need to diss boston richie like what, what did you have problems with him and rowdy rebel says no nah. like he just felt like doing it like he like he doesn't care about the consequences or like nothing that comes about like he just did it just because it rhymed like fuck it why did you feel it was necessary for you to make comments on boston richie's situation uh, I made a comment because I wanted to, and I rap. I do what I want to do. Like I feel like that's real rap. That this was shit, like some yeah. 50 cent shit. We just bringing back real rap. Yeah. Man, if you don't like it, it is what it is. It's a ball. Yeah. I feel like everybody agree when they hear it, so it's like, fuck it. And I look, it's I like, was in a stool, and I was coming with lines, and I'm like, oh, that go. <laughs> yeah, I'm <working. laughs> All right. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I thought the same. Yeah, on my, on my, on my, <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought the same. Like, oh, this line fire right here. That shit was it. I, 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 that, that made me come. And that, oh, oh. You no, know, pause, fire. Whoa, oh, yeah, whoa. That was crazy. Whoa, that was crazy. Yeah. That, was oh, crazy. That, was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> So his homie said that like when they were in the studio making the song and he heard Rowdy diss Boston Richie that he got so excited that it made him do what? That, that, that made me come. That made me come. I'm not gonna lie, he could have put any word at the end of that sentence and it would have sounded crazy. But let's get back to the story. After this, Boston Richie went on an interview with No Jumper and spoke on the Rowdy Rebel situation. I know Rowdy Rebel. This nigga Roddy Rebel randomly had like diss you on the song. Yeah, that cheese ball shit. Shit, I didn't get into that. Like, like that, that. See, that's what they want. I like hope that, you made that, some money off. That that's all I can say. It kind of, it kind of boiled out back down to the thing. What I said like a few, a, a few ago, and I was just saying like, man, this is my nigga. This is my brother. This is my fam. Like, if I do some lame ass shit right now, me and him are gonna be arguing. Yeah, I ain't gonna. How you gonna be like, man? Nigga, you did just did some square ass shit, but we don't do that. Like. I got like niggas who mean something in the world, like in in this mule shit from the streets, who I got them go go have to run somebody too. You get what I'm saying? Cause like nigga ain't gonna let a nigga just do no cheese and shit. Like me getting on the song, this and a nigga I never knew, I never met before. Like, but I'm gonna have to go through it with my whole hood. Cause these niggas gonna be like, damn, boy, you just did some cheesy ass shit. We don't do that. So get right. It's, it's kind of hard for a nigga to got down me even the process. Like a nigga just bringing my name up on some land shit that I never met. Mm. Like to me, that ain't gangster. That ain't real. I can't take it in no way. That ain't real. 
Like, that was pussy shit. Like, nigga don't tolerate that at all. And goddamn, I'm just so much a player. I still ain't gonna say nothing bad about a nigga. Like, I'm a real street nigga. Like, I, bro, I, hope you I do my dirt outside. That shit get you a buzz. I ain't against it. 